Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is Imad and happy Ramadan to all Muslims. Today I have good news for you. Google released April 2022 security batch for Pixel devices and thankfully this time it's available on Pixel 6 models on day one without any delays like what happened in the previous updates. So let me show you everything new in April 2022 security batch but before getting started let me remind you to subscribe to the channel to get notified about my upcoming videos and now let's jump in. Let's start with the build number really quick here on my Pixel 6 Pro. It's SP28.220405.004. This build is mainly bug fixes, so don't expect any new features. However, I spotted a couple of new changes that I'm going to share with you. The first change I'm going to show you is in the screenshots. Let's say you took a screenshot that includes text in a different language. Look what happens here. You will see a new translate option in the screenshot overlay menu. As you see, it has Google Lens icon. Tapping on it will take you immediately to Google Lens and you will see the translated text right away. Change number two is under settings, then notifications, then wireless emergency alerts. Here you will see different options. So here I have my Pixel 4a running the previous version of Android 12.1. And as you see, the first toggle at the top has been removed and also the vibration option got removed after April update. And when you look at the items, they, also, they are also different. Here we have warning alerts, public safety, while here we have extreme threats, severe threats, and so on and so forth. Change number three is in the phone app. And as you see, when I open the keypad, now it has a pill-shaped design. All the buttons are bigger than before. And when you tap on them, you will see this new animation. Also, when you tap and hold on any, it will turn into a rectangle and then goes back to the pill-shaped design when you release your finger. Maybe this is something only related to the phone app and it has nothing to do with this build, but it only appeared on my Pixel 6 Pro after installing April update. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the new features and now it's time for today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by cdkeyoffers.com. It's an online digital store that sells original Windows 10 and the office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount and instead of the regular 20%. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is insanely cheap. And the purchase process is very simple. Just click on buy now, choose your preferred payment method. In my case, I will choose PayPal. Sign in with your PayPal account and click on pay now. After successfully paying, click on return to merchant to continue your order. And now the payment is done and the order number is showing on the screen. After a few seconds, the website will redirect you to the purchases page. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, under the system page, scroll all the way down and click on about. Then product key and the activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code you just copied here, click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. And if you are interested in Microsoft Office, you can get the full 2019 Professional Plus package for $45.82 after discount using the same promo code ID20. Please check the links in the description below and now let's get back to the review. Now let's talk about the bug fixes and improvements, which is the main purpose of this build. And as you see here, I have a long list of stuff. All the bug fixes that are labeled with number two are related to the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro models only, while others labeled with number one are targeting all models, starting from the Pixel 3a up to the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Uh, so if you want to check them yourself, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. And I also noticed that Google didn't fix most of the bugs I reported in my previous videos. So hopefully we will see more improvements and fixes in the future builds of Android 12. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you on April 2022 security batch for Pixel devices. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.